Hi, my name is Anya Murray and in this video I'm going to talk about how to maintain white clover in swords. In order to maximise the potential benefits of including clover in your swords, we need to achieve a minimum of 20% average sward clover content across the year. This can be achieved in a number of ways, but two of the most fundamental aspects are grazing management and fertiliser application. Firstly, grazing management. To ensure optimum stolon production, which is essential for clover persistence, light penetration to the base of the swards is crucial. This can be achieved by following correct grazing management guidelines. During the summer, ideal pre-grazing covers should range from 1200 to 1500 kilograms of dry matter per hectare for grass clover swards and a post-grazing sward height of four centimeters with a rotation length targeted at 21 days mid-season. Heavy cuts of silage greater than two and a half thousand kilograms of dry matter per hectare should be avoided as much as possible as this can cause shading to the base of the sward reducing stole on production. A key tool in achieving these targets is by walking your farm weekly, ensuring farm cover is maintained at 160 to 180 kilograms of dry matter per cow. And this will identify when surpluses arise and these paddocks can be cut for surplus bales to maintain pre-grazing herbage mass. Bloat is often raised as an issue when grazing white clover swards. It is important to be able to identify when these risk periods occur. These include sward clover contents of greater than 45%, damp, wet mornings and very hungry animals entering paddocks. Once a risk period has been identified, putting a preventative measure in place can reduce the onset of bloat. These include bloat oil in the water and using a breakfast break, which is a small two hour allocation on the first grazing in a new paddock. These measures can help minimise the incidence of bloat. The second topic I want to talk about is nitrogen application strategies. When reducing nitrogen fertiliser, it is important to do so only when there is sufficient sward clover content in the paddock. And this should be greater than 20% to ensure there is no loss in total dry matter production. This generally occurs from May onwards when the sward content increases as a result of rising temperatures and growth rates. Up until this point, clover content is typically lower in the spring and therefore nitrogen application should be maintained similar to that of a grass only sward at this time. A key timeline to decide on nitrogen application strategy for the summer months should be done in April. Individual paddocks should be walked and assessed for their proportion of clover in each sward using the Chagas Guide to Sward Clover Content and recorded on the Pasture Base Ireland app. Once the clover content score has been assessed, the appropriate nitrogen strategy should be chosen based on Chagas's nitrogen strategy for individual paddocks depending on this sward clover content. This can then be included in your nitrogen plan on the Pasture Base Ireland app. Soiled water is of high value in grass clover systems and can provide up to four units of N per thousand gallons and should be accounted for within your nitrogen plan. Phosphorus and potassium are important nutrients in grass clover systems and should be applied in accordance to your soil fertility results. In summary, ensuring pre-grazing covers are 1500 kilograms of dry matter per hectare during the mid-season and getting residuals of four centimetre is key to maintaining clover in the sward. In addition, nitrogen should only be reduced when sufficient sward clover content of over 20% is present.